Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome to episode number one here on Riverview Farm. Well technically episode number one. We actually did live stream so as you can see we're now driving the tractor back from this field here. This field was grass originally uh, but if you guys missed the live stream on the Monday evening that's what we did. We turned this field into an arable field so that's now ready to go due to the so well I asked people in chat what they want me to plant and they all said oats. So that is now planted with oats. We are going to do field number nine at some point which is on the other side but today we have something different to do today. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to the yard. The yard's literally right here. Now, before we get going, I do have a little rant. Um, and then we'll go ahead and start the video properly. So in the live stream, there were a lot of people saying, get rid of the Deutz, get a John Deere, get this, get that. Which I don't see the point of, because the people, what people were asking me to get was the same tractors as what Dagoin's using, Landy Kid's using. And to me, that just seem, doesn't seem fun. Why would you want to watch the same like five YouTubers use the same equipment. It makes no sense to me. So I chose something like completely different. We will get rid of the Deutzvar at some point, which is why I've chose the older model version, not the new version. So our goal is to upgrade our tractor. But for now, the Deutzvar is gonna stay. I know a lot of you guys don't like it for whatever reason, but to me, this map is European, not British. I know there's a lot of people saying it's a British map. I don't see it. I see it as a European map, personally. So anyway, with the rant out of the way, we're gonna keep the Deutzvar. Um, like I said, we do have a fence as well somewhere. I think it's up by the house. We have a fence as well. This isn't our only tractor. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I hope you guys are well. Uh, this is the second farm sim video to uh, 2019. We did a maple? Maple? I forgot the name of it already. I don't know why I'm putting this here. Because I need to get some house up the shed. So um, we do need to get some stuff out, like I said a second ago. We need to get the mowers, first of all. Now, we do have a... Olga, sorry, sorry, forage wagon. It's been a long, long time since I used a forage wagon. Um, do we have a windrow? We do have a windrow. I just can't remember where I put it. So what have I done here? I've gone ahead and put the back in first. Let's go ahead and let's not try and break our neck using head tracking. Let's just go into third person. So I hope you guys are well. Like I said, if you guys don't know why I've, if you guys didn't see episode number one of Raple or Maple, um, I'll explain one more time where I've been and stuff in a second. Let's go ahead and leave this unfolded for now because. In fact, I'll have to get it folded up for a minute, just so I can turn around. Uh, we're not going to get into the shed with this folded up, so we need to go ahead and put it down again so we can get the front mower. Um, so yeah, I will explain one more time, just in case you missed episode number one of uh, Ray, uh, Maple? Maypole map, whatever it's called. Um, where I've been and stuff, so let's go ahead and get that unfolded first of all. In fact, I might just take it off. Let's just take it off. Just in case we don't have enough room. There we go. Let's go ahead and pick up the front mower here. Collect the rear one once again. Cool. So we're using Lely or Lee. There's a lot of debates about what this is called. I call it Lely, which is completely wrong. I know that. I learned how to say it properly in Germany, but then forgot. Um, so I'm using this tree line here as the border of the field. It's not actually a proper field, but there's a reason we are mowing this, because we are going to be putting stuff here at some point. Uh, when I say at some point, I mean the next video. So let's go ahead and get that unfolded, get that unfolded. So I hope you guys are well. Welcome to 2019. So where have I been? Um, let's get that lowered down. Let's get that. That's the wrong button simulate. I'm still getting used to the controls here. I'm sorry about that. Get that one turned on and we're good to go. Hopefully we have enough horsepower for this. We should do because Deutz is a animals. Um, so I've just been... Well, so if you guys saw episode number one of uh, Maple, you'll have to sit for this one more time, but I'll be quick. So basically... I had Christmas off, I had New Year's Eve, or uh, New Year's off, of course, like most people do, because this is a hobby for me, not a job, so I had no reason to do YouTube. I do it for fun, and like I said, it's a hobby, I do it for you guys, and just something for me to do. I don't do it for the money, so I feel like if I had done, uh, pushed out videos, it would have been for the sake of it, and you guys probably would have told, been able to tell that the quality wasn't the same as usual if you like my videos usually. Because um, it would have been forced. So yeah, I don't bother doing it. I don't force myself to do videos if they're going to come out pretty rubbish. So like I said, I don't do it for the money. So it seems pointless to me. Uh, also, there was some... Um, just after that, I was meant to be back on the first week of 2019. But then we... So I had some personal issues come up, which I'm not going to say because it's personal. Um, but yeah, we're now back now. That's all that matters. So that's where I've been. So let's get that out of the way. Second of all... Welcome to uh, Riverview. This was a highly requested map that I was getting on Discord and stuff to uh, to do. So excited to be checking this out. So a lot of people are saying it's a British style map. I know Rainbow Dave's one of them. I personally don't see it. I see this as a European map. 
so we're going to go ahead and treat it as a European map, whereas Maple, I'm treating as a British map. So hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. Um, I, one thing I haven't mapped out yet is the lift up all implements, which is shift V usually, I think, or control shift V. I don't actually have that on my side panel just yet. I need to go ahead and map that out for the next video. Not to worry. So, like I said, we are going to be putting stuff here at some point. We do have a win rule for this as well. So, this is actually the first bit of mowing I've done in... In fact, this is the first bit of mowing I've done in FS19, I believe. Do you, you guys know if I'm right there or wrong? Let's get the lights on. It's a bit shadowy over here. There we go. Bit of a frame drop along here for some reason. And it's back. For some reason, that corner is a bit of a frame drop. I'm not sure why. I think two headlands is going to do us here because it's quite a small area that we're mowing today. Let's get the lights off again. But yeah, I hope you guys are well. Sorry about the rant at the start there. It's just that the live stream was full of people telling me to get rid of the Deutzvar. Uh, I like the Deutzvar personally. I don't really use them that often because they're not very British. You do get them in Britain, but they're quite rare. In fact, there's a dealership near me. So, um, But yeah, I don't see them that often actually working. Only ever on like run, like run uh, show runs and stuff like that, or what you call test drives. Um, demos, that's the word I was looking for. I only ever see them on demos, not actually people owning them. So I don't really use them on British maps, but I do like them. But the reason we've used the older shape, not the newer shape, is because I do plan on getting rid of it at some point. Um, I want to get a class. I'm just waiting for a good mod to come out for that. I'm going to lift up the front one so we don't snap it off here. Cool. So I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. And a fantastic new year once again. I got quite a lot of goodies for the channel. In fact, you guys are actually looking through... So the cameras were given to me by Giants. That's not a secret. I told you guys that when we got back from Germany. However, you may notice that there's quite a nice colour on the wheel cam now. It's a bit brighter. I have bought myself two box lights with uh, Christmas money. So when you get to a certain age, guys, if you're watching this, you're quite young... There comes a point where you don't get presents, you get pants, socks, and money. So with the money that I got, I bought myself two box lights. They come in a pack of two. One was technically free. There's one behind me, which isn't turned on. That's for face cam when I do my streams. And there's one literally there, uh, which is for the wheel cam. So that's pretty good. Uh, I do need to get a green screen at some point. And I also bought something else, which I'm not going to say just yet, because I want to unbox it on the channel. Uh, this is not something that was given to me. This is something that I actually bought myself. So I get, I do get a lot, quite a lot of stuff sent to me to unbox and stuff by Logitech every now and then. But this is something I bought with my own money because it's something I play on my personal time. So I will unbox it. I'm not sure if we'll ever use it on the channel, but uh, I'm excited to at least show you guys. So anyway, I'm going to crack on with a bit more of this because I don't want to bore you guys to death on the first episode. And I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so we are now done already. That was nice and quick. I like jobs that are that quick. Uh, right, let's go ahead and get this folded up. We'll get that one folded up as well and lifted up. So one thing I don't like is tractors sitting around doing nothing. So we're going to quickly switch out to the Fent. Um, and we'll get this Deutzvar working with the forage wagon, which is right in front of us in a second. This, is gonna get, uh, this yard's going to have a mess, I can tell. Right, so we get this turned off for now. Um, tab in to the, the Fent. Right, so here we go. We are using the Fent favourite 515C, which is the in-game one. I thought we'd have a nice old tractor and a nice, not new tractor, because that Deutz is pretty old now. But let's head down here. We'll pick up the. So this is also our low loader trailer. A low loader? What am I talking about? Front loader tractor. Um, that was a fail. I said trailer as well, didn't I? This is our front loader tractor. Um, I haven't had my many morning coffees just yet. I do apologise, but uh, where did I put the windmill? It's right next to us. Okay. By the way, if you guys haven't seen that big bag mod yet, jeez, that's incredible. Love that. That's a lot of time and effort's gone into that mod. I think it's a fantastic job. Right, I need to jump out real quick and move the Libra out of the way. So I use this as well. Like I said, this is European map, in my opinion. So I didn't want to use all the nice British brands because we do have a kind of British map out already. And we also, just around the corner, have Auction David's map when it's released. So looking forward to that for sure. Right, let's get that turned off. Head back into here. It's getting quite bad FPS in this map, actually. I'm only getting about 40 to 5 to 50 FPS, which is a bit worrying. I usually only get solid 60. Right, we get that hooked up. And we'll start wind rowing. So, 
obviously, as you can tell, we're turning this into chaff. Um, we actually have to put down a silo, though. I just thought about that. So we only got 40,000 euros. That's going to be euros. I'll change that to euros in a second. Um, so I need to change that out. And uh, we need to get ourselves a silo, I think. Right, let's go ahead and unfold this here. We'll get the camera zoomed out, which conveniently I've put on this little wheel here on my steering wheel. One thing I hope gets converted. Can you guys remember the class? Was it class or chrome? Uh, Windrow from FS17. It might have been Chrome. I think it was a clone, uh, Chrome Swap, Swadron, Swaffer. I don't remember what it's called. But you guys know what I'm talking about. If not, I've just lost my mind. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this bit here. So sit back, enjoy. Um, it's been a long time since we've done the time lapse. So yeah, sit back, enjoy, and I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Uh, hopefully, you guys don't judge me too much on how rusty I am with rin rowing because I've completely forgot how to do it. Never stop. I've been stressed out watching both these hands around the clock with my eyes wide trying to get the panorama shot whole world getting blurry to me answers getting lost so I watch my back and keep it moving to the front and remember that the world's yours do it how you want you've been waiting here for too long think it's time for you to move on realize that this real lies in these real times will be strong I've been waiting all my life and it was right before my eyes watching all this time slip now I realize You know what I mean Watching time fly by might be the hardest thing I have to do in life. Frustrated that I ain't where I want to be yet. But I know that I'm going to make it if I chase that check. Yes. Right, okay, so we are now done. Let's go ahead and get the windrow lifted up and turned off here. Like I did warn you, I am a little bit rusty when it comes to the old, uh, the old windrowing tools. No, <laughs> oh gosh, let's not even look at it. Just... Just squint a little bit and maybe it'll look okay. So we are now ready to take the fence away. We'll get back into the Deutzvar. It sounds weird saying that because I've not used one for a long, long, long time. And we'll get the forage wagon loaded up. Now what I could have done to save a lot of time is just put the forage wagon on the back of this and have the front mower. But that would have been a lot more passes than we had to do. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is the easiest way. Bit more steps included. But quicker overall, I reckon, personally. Let's get that taken off. Ooh. I miss shuttle mode so much. Oh, please, if there's a modder watching this, please make a shuttle mode. Right, let's get it lowered down. And uh, we'll get it taken off. And then once again, shuttle mode. I was just putting my foot on the brake and it was actually making me go backwards. Which is why we just sort of reversed into our mower again. My brain's still not adapted to the fact that I don't have my precious drive control. Uh, right. Squeak, squeak, and again, drive control, not existent. Okay, let's reverse up to here. We'll get that all hooked up, ready to go. Cool. So as you can probably guess, we are clearing this area for something in particular, but it seems like a waste of grass, um, just putting it down now. So I wanted to make sure we took all the resources that we could before placing stuff down here. Right, do we have to unfold this? Or is it unfolded from the get-go? I think it's unfolded from the get-go. Yes, it is. Okay, so get it up to the proper RPMs. We don't actually need the map open here. Let's close that. There we go. So she should be at the proper RPM now. And we'll make a start on... This, is it working? Yep, we are filling up. I'm going to put the work lights on, or the front lights on a second, because... Let's think about this map. It might be the textures that I'm using. I do actually have a texture pack installed, which has made the grass really green. That could be why 
I'm finding it pretty hard to see anything. Um, let's go ahead and follow this. Make sure we go out a little bit wide because, of course, the trail behind us is a little bit offset if you turn instantly. For those of you that don't know, I'm not a real life farmer, but that's just, you know, physics. It's the way turning works, whether you're using a trailer or a tractor or a trailer with a car. You have to come out a little bit wider. So, like now, our front wheels. Our front left wheel is pretty much on the swath when we go around this corner, just so that the trail behind is actually picking up everything. There we go. That's the only tip I can give regarding trailers, because that's about as far as my knowledge goes. Right, head along here. Okay, there is a swath. Yeah, it's just a little bit harder to see. This grass does go off colour over time, but when you first cut it, it's nice fresh green, so it's a little bit hard to see. So like I said, we do need to put down a silo as well. Hopefully we can get that down somewhere. I'm thinking in between that area of trees there, maybe. Let's go into our next settled deal. We needed two headlands. Uh, well, kind of. I'd count the. I'd say that less than two headlands because some of this bit of here is just patchy more than anything. So yeah, we're going to be turning this into silage, obviously. Uh, so you could probably guess what we're getting. We're planning on putting down a cow pasture. Planning being the key word. I don't know if we can actually afford one just yet. Now I do have a mod that's everything in one. Uh, was a, I feel like the one that comes in game is a bit American style, so I do have a European style one, but it's pretty expensive, so hopefully it'll fit here for one, and secondly, hopefully I can afford it. I, I'm assuming we're going to have to take out a loan regardless, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, and just like that, hang on, let's just get it properly. Oh no, we've got a little bit left. I was about to say, just like, oh, move. I'm going to squash you, thank you. And just like that, we were full. So let's go ahead and get the pick. Oh, pickup went up automatically. That's pretty cool. So it's quite a small one that we've got here, as you can see. Quite a small forage wagon. So with forty thousand pounds, what silo can we get? I'm going to assume none, but we'll have a look anyway. Um, well, we can get a small one. How big is that? That's actually that might do us. You know, what's the next one up? Twenty-five for an extra ten grand. Is that worth ten grand? Probably not. I'm going to go for the small one. Um, if we need to, we can just, you know, um, wait, is there any roast to put this? What's this up here? I don't own it. Dang it. Right, okay, so we are now down to 23,000, uh, euros. It still says pounds, I should probably change that once again. But we now have a small clamp. This should be more than enough for what we're going to be using on the farm. We're only a small time farm, so it shouldn't matter too, too much. But I've gone ahead and put a nice bit of dirt going into this, because this originally was on the side of the path, but the concrete that I put down next to it looks so bad, I couldn't live with myself, so I've gone ahead and unloaded, uh, so I painted around it, let's go ahead and get this unloaded, hopefully it doesn't fill up too quick, I feel like we may have got a too small of a clamp, but it suits the map I think, it suits the map, alright, um, that should do, we're going to be using the Fent to uh, compact and move this around, because that is the one with the front load attached to. So we're now done. That's probably the only one we can drive in, so we'll probably have to reverse in to the uh, the next one. Right, let's get the Far Dragon turned back on so it gets up to the proper RPMs whilst we drive over here. And then we'll lower it down when we get to the swath, which is right here. Right, so let's crack on with a bit more of this. And uh, hopefully we don't fill up the, uh, the silo clamp too fast. Right, so we're full again. Like I said, we're going to have to reverse this one in. Um, I don't want to ri risk ripping the uh, the forage wagon off the back okay i'm probably yeah i'm gonna do this in third person because my head track is starting to run out of battery unfortunately so i have to get that charged up for the next recording it should be a coffee break uh right let's reverse this in i'm gonna not gonna lie guys i know like i said at the start of this video there's a lot of people that don't like the deutzfahr it is really growing on me such a fantastic tractor there is one thing i don't agree with and that is why they decided this colour interior. I mean, this one here, of course, isn't a game, so you can't really tell. But in real life, they must get pretty dirty. Um, and if someone's watching this who actually has one of these in real life, let me know. But this colour, I just see getting dirty pretty quickly. Right, is that going to unload everything? Pull forward a little bit just in case. Okay, we're good. We've only got a couple of passes left to do now. So it's not even going to get a full trailer out the next load, I don't think. Right, once again, let's get the forage wagon turned back on so it gets it to the proper RPM. Uh, where were we? Where did we end off? So there's one pass here, there's two, two and a half maybe? We're not even going to have a quarter of a forage wagon, I don't think. Let's 
got our lights on here. I can't really see where I'm going. Ah, here it was. So we'll go ahead and drop that down. Cool. Right, okay, so this is the final bit now, and we are now completely done as soon as that stops. There we go. Get that lifted up and turned off. I don't think we've actually missed anything. I think we've done a pretty good job of picking it up this time. Uh, what time is it? It's half four in-game, so let's see if we've got time to do anything else after this. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and unload this little bit here. We've got 7,254 litres of forage in here. Well, technically, we're just going to say grass. Right, so once again, I need to get rid of that tree. It's annoying me now. And uh, not to mention I keep getting caught on it when I've got big machinery. That's one job for the farm. I can put that on the list to do. Right, let's go ahead and get, see if we can wedge ourselves up here a little bit like so. Let's get that unloaded. Cool! So that has been the, the first set of jobs done. The first mission, if you will. Is, is it going to close automatically? No. Okay, we'll get that closed. Right. Let's get the head tracking to off a minute. So like I said, I want to see how much it's going to cost to put down this animal pen. So where's the mod? Uh, £225,000! Oh my goodness. Um, well, I didn't think it'd be that much. I thought it'd be in the hundreds. Right, let's get that saved. Um, how much money do we have? We have 23. How much did I say it was? 225, I think it was, wasn't it? 225? Uh, 225, and we only have 23. Just 23. Um, right, we're gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna hurt. It doesn't matter. We'll be a dairy farm in Europe somewhere. Right, we're borrowing a lot of money here now, so that's what we had. Two, two, eight. Two, three, there we go. That should leave us with... Okay, that should leave us with what we had. Ish. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get the... The Milchoff? 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 Um, where's the actual triggers and stuff? Let's get that turned around like so. Because i got to find somewhere to put it now. Right, so I had to quickly reset back before we uh, saved the game. So we're back to 23,000 euros here now. Uh, so it's before we took out the loan. Because the cow pen that we tried to put down does not fit here. In this huge space, I tried, I even tried uh, terraforming the land so that this was completely flat all the way up to the hedge and all the way up to the, uh, the border around there. Still did not fit. So I'm assuming it's got pretty big borders. So we might have to try and find a different one. So I'm not going to put down one of the in-game ones just yet. I'm going to see if I can find another mod or something. But I'm going to leave the video here. I'll quickly look into that now uh, as soon as I finish recording this. So thank you very much for joining me in this video. If you did enjoy, please slap the thumbs up button. It really does me a lot. Once again, this has been episode number one. So it will get more interesting. I promise. We're just sort of doing the, the standard jobs and getting the farm set up still. But thank you once again. If you did enjoy, please have a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. Don't forget to check out the instant gaming link in the description box down below for up to 75% of games. I've been Simulate Gaming and I'll see you in the next one.